is an old family butcher shop and uh, there's something really special going on here in this tub. What are you making, Roger? Well, we're starting Scrapple. Scrapple. All right, what is Scrapple? Well, all pork start off with bones on the bottom of the tub, line it with bones, and I put pork skin, and then there's meat, then on the top I have livers, pork livers. And I'll start this tonight, probably seven, eight o'clock, and turn it on low. So cook slow all night, and then by six o'clock tomorrow morning, the meat will all be cooked. I take the meat out, separate it from the bones, grind the meat, strain the broth, so then we put the broth back in, add our cornmeal and seasoning, then put our meat back in, and then let it recook. As it's starting to cook and finishing up, we add two types of flour to thicken it up. So it's a process, it starts the cooking time, but it takes some time, but then once it goes, the meat goes in, it's another two hours of cooking time. Um, we put it in large pans or small pans with some different sizes and it has to set up at least 24 hours Then we can dump it out and cut it into blocks. So you, when it sets up, you put it in the cool, right? In the refrigerator? We, we put it in the cooler and it um, needs, to, needs to harden up, it gels up and, and it gels up. up. And then yeah. the consistency is like what? What, what does it? What? Every, week, every week is different. Yeah. The scrapple is made, scrapple is what is left over this time, I added a lot more things. I butchered a couple more pigs to put more meat in. A lot of times, scrapple is not as good if it's better meat in. It's, it's scrap, you know, your trimmings and everything else is what we put in. And it's a consistency of meat. You'll taste the meat, the liver. Um, we make a mild scrapple, just salt and pepper. Not a lot of seasoning to it. It's an old Pennsylvania Dutch recipe. There you so, go. Now, now, you know, our grandfather made scrapple how many years ago? I mean, uh, how long has he been making scrapple here? He probably made back in the 40s, so 40s. we're talking 75 years. Yeah. And there is no set recipe. It's it's what's left over goes in, season to taste, yeah. and, and go from there. And how long have you been making scrapple? I uh, started here in the late 70s with my father. Yeah. And he taught me. Same with my grandmother would come down and she would taste it <laughs> and make sure it was just right. And I guess my father made it up till 2000. I helped him then I took over then. You know, moving away from here, uh, from this part of Pennsylvania, a lot of people don't know what Scrapple is. In the mountains of Kentucky, I mean, a lot of people never heard of it. It really is an ethnic German food. German, yeah, it's farm. a Pennsylvania Dutch, it's a Philadelphia area, yeah, um, yeah the yeah. Northeast. So, so the best way to eat it, apple butter or ketchup or horseradish? I can go all different ways. I'm a ketchup person. Cut it thin, get it crispy on one side before you flip it. Don't be mushing it around and breaking it up. Yeah. Just in a hot frying pan. Flip it once, get it crispy, and go from there. Very good. Yeah. There you got it. Scrapple. Can't beat it. Love it. We're going to miss it. <laughs> uh, butcher shop's closing down. Right, where it's closed down. Probably down. my last batch. Some people That's will ask that. that we're gonna <laughs> make another batch to see how how it turns out. People have been asking for scrapple, and over the last couple months, I've been trying other people's scrapple, and yeah. I think I come to the conclusion is <laughs> I can see why people say, "Wow, your scrapple's good." Yes. There's there's some different types of scrapple out uh, there. I wholeheartedly agree with that, Roger. Okay. All right, we're gonna miss it, but. I'm glad we just happened in down here and they're making it. So here we go, last batch of scrapple in, in, in Grim Pop's cooker here. So thanks, Roger. This is the finished product. Scrapple, what do you think, Roger? Well, I think I still have the um, touch of making scrapple. <laughs> I think we still got it. I guess we'll find out it's right. We'll have to fry some up. This is what it looks like. There's. Some yeah, you want to have some Indian Dutch scrapple. Oh. So we fried up the scrapple, and this is what it looks like. Golden brown, crisp on the outside, soft on the inside. Somebody 
Uh, growing up in southeastern PA, especially around uh, the Philadelphia area of German descent, this is a comfort food. It's hard to find it when you go away and go to other places. For me, my choice is apple butter. A lot of people like to eat it with ketchup, but also like horseradish with it as well. I hope you all have enjoyed learning about Scrapple. If you've had Scrapple before, let us know in the comments. Best Scrapple ever right here, Cobb Scrapple.